I love shopping at Publix where shopping is a pleasure. Now, I know some people don't shop at Publix because they say they are too expensive, but I promise you, if you do the things that I suggest in this video, Publix will very well maybe a lot cheaper than some of the other stores like Walmart and things like that if you do the things that I suggest, okay? So let's go ahead and get into this video. gold diggers this is your girl rita also known as the self-proclaimed gold digger welcome to my channel where i discuss my life as a wife mom entrepreneur and business owner all while trying to crush and achieve my goals and today i am going to be sharing with you how i save money on my groceries by shopping at publix now Typically, I do like to share some ways that I save money. I've been more focused on some of my side hustles and how I am making more money. But since prices are going up, y'all, if y'all have not noticed, prices are going up all over the place, not just on gas, but on groceries. So I feel like this is a timely video to show you how you can save money on groceries. And like I said in the intro, I love shopping at Publix where shopping is a pleasure. But you have to do these things, okay? Now, if this is your first time tuning in, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, especially if you find this information helpful, okay? Now, one of the reasons I love shopping at Publix is I'm gonna give you three things of that you need to do. So three things, three simple things, three simple things that you need to do. But one of the reasons, I, the, main, the most important reason that I like to shop at Publix is because they have BOGOs. What are BOGOs? BOGOs just mean buy one, get one. And it's buy one, get one free. It's not buy one, get one 50% off. It's buy one, get one free. And the way Publix has their BOGO set up is you don't have to buy two items. If you buy just one item, you're gonna get it half off. So I get my groceries half off at Publix and all I mainly shop there are their BOGOs, okay? I specifically look for their BOGOs and that is all I have. And these BOGOs tend to run in cycles. So if, and it's usually a cycle of like maybe anywhere from six to eight weeks or, or so, um, where you will see things coming back up. So when it's something that I really, really like or I know my family loves to eat, I will stock up on it on the when it's on BOGO, knowing that it won't be on BOGO again for a while. Now, one of the things my family loves is ice cream, okay? And they always, when I say always, they always have that on BOGO. If you are not um, stuck with a particular brand, you can pretty much find ice cream every week, but it's a different brand on sale as a BOGO at Publix, whether it's Briars, whether it's Mayfield, Whatever it is, it's going to be some brand that they have that is BOGO. Now, I know Publix is a regional thing, so you might not have a Publix in your area, but definitely check and see what other grocery stores in your area have BOGOs on a regular basis because they probably have a setup similar to Publix. Now, some other things, some staples that I consistently buy on BOGO, just to show you um, some of the things that are available are cereal, cookies, condiments. So that's like your ketchup, your mayo, your salad dressing. They have juice, they have chips. I always get the chips on BOGO and they're name brand chips. It's not like you buying the Publix chips or something like that. Not saying there's anything wrong with it, although I have never tried the Publix chips or whatever, but you're either getting Lay's or Ruffles. Um, it's the name brand um, chips. They have your vegetables, more specifically, the frozen vegetables are BOGO, although sometimes they do have some of the fresh vegetables, BOGO fresh vegetables, and sometimes specifically fresh fruit, certain fresh fruits, your cheese, your meats, and like I mentioned, ice cream, gum, candy. That's the only time I really buy my gum and candy is when it's BOGO. And even things like rice have been on BOGO. Now, the other thing I use the BOGO for is if I'm interested, interested in something but i don't really want to pay full price for it so i will try something new just because i'm already going to get it half off and see if i like it or not and that way i don't feel like i'm wasting my money um with the bogo so sometimes when new products and stuff come out they might be on sale with the bogo so that is the first thing you need to do to help save money on your groceries and to save money at Publix. if you think their shopping center is too hot get there 
BOGOs. Now, the second thing you need to do is to get their app. Yes, Public has an app. Download the app. It is so, so helpful because when you go on the app, there is a tab. I want to say it's the savings tab. You go to the savings tab and you can go to the weekly app. Well, you know where I go? They have a tab specifically for BOGO where it just lists all the BOGO products. So anything I see, I'll just be like, check, 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 check. I want these products because they are on BOGO. The other nice thing about the Publix app is it when you check them off, it's sending it to a grocery list on the app. So you already have your grocery list set up for when you go into the store. And they make it so easy. It tells you like the owl is on. So you don't even have to waste time being in there or anything like that. It's like, this is on aisle 13. And it, well, pretty much it lists all your items according to the aisle. So if you want to start at aisle one, you're going to pick up everything. And then you don't need to, next thing is on aisle three, you'll know, okay, well, I don't need to go on aisle two. Let me jump over to aisle three or whatever. It lists everything and tells you where it is in the app. So get the app, get the Publix app so you can filter it out and see the BOGO. The other good thing about getting the app too is because once you start adding your stuff and creating your list, it'll start showing you things that you um, commonly buy or that you have bought before. So when I go into my app, it will show me, hey, this item that you bought before is on BOGO. Or if it's not even on BOGO, it'll show me this is on sale based off of, because I have bought it before, they'll say, hey, this is on sale, you know, that kind of thing. So you can see, well, do I want to get it since it's on sale? Because I really do not check the, the weekly ad to see what's on sale. I just check the BOGOs. But they tell me, the app tells me some of the items that I frequently buy when they are on sale, just because they have seen my shopping preferences, okay? So get the app for that reason. Now, the last and final thing that you need to do to help you save money at Publix and save money when you're when you're getting your groceries is to get digital coupons. Now, this also goes back to the app because they have the digital coupons on the app. And same thing, just like you add stuff to um, the list that's the BOGO, you can add your coupons there. And it'll show you, just like it shows you like what aisle to pick it up on or whatever, it'll show you the coupon that is associated with it if you have, you know, clicked it and linked it to there. Now, in order to redeem your coupons um, at Publix, because they're digital coupons or whatever, at checkout, you would have to put in your phone number, the phone number that's associated with the app and all that kind of stuff, put in your phone number and it'll automatically apply your coupons. So you don't have to worry about clipping any coupons. You don't have to worry about remembering. All you need to do pretty much is remember to put in your phone number. And even if you do forget to put in your phone number, say, hey, you already done hit total and you done um, started putting your money in or putting your card in or whatever, Still, go back, put your phone number in because I have done it before and I knew I had a coupon on it. And guess what happened? Even though I had already paid for my transaction or whatever, they knew I had a $2 coupon. And guess what happened? At the end of my transaction, the little money, money machine spit out $2 for me. $2 for me to have because they knew I was supposed to get $2 off anyway because of my coupons. So even if you forget, go ahead, put it in. Um, I say put it in first thing. When you first come to the register, try and put it in. Um, I usually do self-checkout and stuff, but try to put it in first thing. But even if you don't, if you're about to, you've already put in your money, still try and put it in and the thing, the little self-checkout thing should spit you out $2 as your change, okay? So those are the three things that you need to do to save money to shop at Publix. Just a quick recap. One, you want to only shop the BOGOs, okay? Number two, you want to get their app. Get the Publix app, all right? And this video is not sponsored by Publix, although Publix, if you want to holler at your girl, holler at your girl. And number three, you want to use the digital coupons, okay? Um, yeah, those coupons definitely come in handy, especially if you can get them coupled with the BOGO. I mean, I know, oh, this is another thing I have not mentioned. They have toothpaste on sale too. I have got a name brand toothpaste because it was BOGO for a dot, and then it had a coupon with it. I think it was, it was like, um, maybe the toothpaste was $3 a piece or whatever, but it was BOGO. So it was um, $3 a piece for the toothpaste, $3 each for the toothpaste. But since it was BOGO, I got two for $3. Then I had a $2 off 
coupon. I got those toothpaste for two toothpaste for 50 cent. Name brand toothpaste. I want to think it was either like Colgate or Crest or something like that. It was a name brand toothpaste. So you can get where can you get Colgate or Crest at Walmart for 50 cent? I don't think so. I don't think so. And that's why I say you can save even more money shopping at Publix if you do these things. All right, but that is all I have for now. This is your girl Rita, also known as the self-proclaimed gold digger. Take care, everyone. Ha 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 